as with the general neck examination, observe from the front for any obvious swellings, deformity, asymmetry or skin changes in the head and neck. In a parotid exam in particular, look for any signs of facial nerve palsy. When the obvious parotid region swelling is identified, look closely for any signs as mentioned before and also for any scars. Measure the lump in at least two dimensions with a small tape as shown. Ask the patient for any areas of pain or tenderness before palpation. Gently begin palpation by feeling for the warmth of the overlying skin. Feel for the surface of the swelling as well as its consistency. Examine its mobility in both the vertical and horizontal planes. Repeat this examination while the patient is turning his head against your non-examining hand. This is to tense the stedocleidomastoid muscle so as to enable us to determine if there is any association between the lump and the muscle. For completeness, one can test the lump for fluctuance and transillumination if a cystic lump is suspected. When examination of the main swelling is done, complete the neck examination systematically, making sure that all the neck triangles are scrutinized. Do not forget to do an intraoral examination, in particular looking for the stensin's duct and also for any lateral pharyngeal wall medialization. Finally, a parotid examination is completed with the examination of the facial nerve as the extracranial facial nerve runs through the parotid gland and may be involved in cases of malignancy.